Hello and welcome to Excel-DashboardTemplates.com. This is Steve True. Please visit our blog at Excel-DashboardTemplates.com so that you're sure to get the latest tip, trick, and technique to create awesome Excel charts. Okay, uh, today we had a user uh, make a request on my YouTube channel and wanted to know, uh, can I create a column chart and then have percentages, uh, multiple percentages, not just one, on top of the column chart uh, and how would we go about doing that? This is off another posting of where I showed you how to do that on a, a stacked column chart. And so I thought, well, let me go ahead and show you how to do that one as well. Uh, so you can see the columns we here have here have our actual data uh, of sales figures. You see this over here on the right. And those are the labels that are showing on each one of the columns. Then I have two different percentages on the top of each column. So the first one, uh, this represents uh, that 498 is 7% of the current year's sales. Uh, and then I have another percentage right below it. What was the same month of January like for uh, the previous year? So previous year, uh, it was 9% of our sales uh, for uh, the same month and period. So you can pack a lot of information into a small chart. So let's see how uh, we set this chart up. Um, what we have is we first have our actual sales data. Uh, then we have a column that I call filler, and what that column is going to do is it's going to give us space between uh, the column chart and our first label. Then we're actually going to put in the percentages uh, uh, as a label, and I have done a custom number formatting. Look here, this is just 9%, but I've done a custom number format to put previous year on the label. Uh, and then I have another column that is a filler uh, for the next percentage area so that these two labels here are not stepping on top of each other. Otherwise, they'd be just jumbled and written right on top of each other and you, you wouldn't be able to discern one from the other. Then we have, uh, once again, the same thing, which is the current year label uh, that is going to show up in the value. Um, and I've, this is just a, you'll notice this is just a percentage of what is B2 over the entire year. Uh, and so then I have applied a custom number format on that one as well to put the CY in there. All right, so let's go ahead and show you how to make all of that. So I'm going to move that off to the side. What you want to do is you want to highlight your entire range of data with the fillers and the percentages that you want to have in there. Now, uh, one thing on the filler, what I did is I just created a filler that was looking at about a 10% value um, of whatever our average is. So I did, uh, first I did an average of our sales throughout the year, multiplied it times 10%, and then I'm just rounding it to zero uh, to give it a nice clean number. Uh, and that gives us a filler of about uh, 56, and that's what we're gonna use for our filler. So let's highlight the entire uh, area. We're gonna go up to our insert ribbon. Now. Uh, on the YouTube channel, the user asked, can we do this with just a standard column chart? Well, you can, but um, it's going to take so much work. It's just so much easier to do this on a stacked column chart. And all we're going to do is we're going to hide the fill on each one of the series that are not our initial sales numbers. So create a stacked column chart with, for this. Let's go ahead and move that up here. So you can see it's created our sales. Uh, it's got a filler. There's a very, very small one in there for our percentage. Then there's a fill. And then once again, we have our last percentage. So what we want to do is click on the chart. Then go up to, uh, make sure you don't click on any one of the series. Just click somewhere else in the chart. Go up to your layout ribbon. Go to your data labels. And just choose center data label. And you'll see that puts labels everywhere on every single series. Now, these filler series, you see like it says 56 right there. Uh, you want to highlight those, so just highlight one of them. Uh, you can typically go to any label, and then just with your down or up arrow, you'll see you'll start to select all the labels in order. So there's the f one of the first fills. I'm in, I've got those selected for labels, and I'm going to hit the delete key. I'm going to choose another label close to that other fill. I just hit my down arrow, and there you can see all the 56s are highlighted, which is that fill series. Hit my delete key. So we've gotten the labels away for those. Uh, and what we want to do now is select, say, that first sales series. I'm going to press my up arrow, and now I have the fill series. If I press Control-1, it will bring up my Format Data Series dialog box. I want to go to the fill. 
and do no fill as my option for that. Let's repeat that pattern. Just click on any uh, series that you know it is. Go up until you get into the other series and change those to no fill. The only series that should have a fill are going to be the sales number. So there's just one last little one, the current year percentage, no fill, and click on close. Let me expand this so you can just see a little bit closer. So what we have here is we have our, um, our sales columns, we have our label percentages uh, for the current year and the previous year, and we've hidden all of the other uh, series that are showing as a stacked column. If I hit my delete on the lead, the grid lines, I've gotten rid of the grid lines so that the labels show up a little more. I also don't need this uh, legend over here anymore because um, everything is just representative sales and then I've got some other information on the top of these. And uh, so the only other trick that I didn't show you in this video so far is how do we get this PY and the CY in our labels? Well, okay, so what you want to do is highlight the range for last year and we want to create a custom number format for this range so we do that by going to our home ribbon and in the number group area we want to check check more number formats this will bring up our format cells uh, dialog box and we want to click normally when you've done uh, this if you click on custom down here you'll see it shows percentage because that's probably the number format that you chose is that it was a percentage we just want to go in here and we want to type in a space I'm gonna do the parentheses I'm gonna add quote marks here because if you have a Y anywhere in there it's gonna try and format that Y for years and it'll mess it up so we want to make sure it knows it's just text and we'll do PRY for like previous year in my parentheses and then click on OK Notice over here in my number or my spreadsheet, my number formats have changed to PRY. And then uh, uh, you do the same thing on this cell here as well. And it will modify, look, it's already modified the chart for that previous year to be PRY. Uh, and um, we haven't changed this number format, but if we did, let's go ahead and highlight that range. I'm gonna go up to my number format area, more number formats. And once again, it's probably going to show up normally as a percentage, uh, but you can just come in here and modify this by doing parentheses. Let's do, instead of current year, let's do uh, C-U-R-R-Y, end quotes, end parentheses, click on OK. It's now modified our range here. Even though these are truly numbers, it's adding that extra text there. And as you can see, it translates right into the label that's already going to show up as the value within the chart. So hopefully you can see how you can add multiple percentages to either a column or stacked column chart, whatever you'd like, uh, using custom number formats, using fillers for the uh, to make sure you have spaces uh, for your labels to appear, and uh, just chart the whole thing as a stacked column chart, and then make sure you fill Look, all those data series are filled with just no fill uh, so that they are floating above your columns. Hopefully that was helpful and you learned something in this Excel tip and trick. Please visit my blog at excel-dashboardtemplates.com. Sign up for our RSS feed so you get the latest post in your inbox. Also sign up for our YouTube channel so you get the latest video in your inbox. And please uh, tell a friend. Thank you very much and have a great day.